Hey adventurers, today I'm in Kern County, California. We're in the foothills of the Sierras and there is so much to flip here. Just all across this mountainside, there are logs and rocks and plenty of great habitat for us to find stuff. So you know what that means. Let's get flipping. And here we are, first set of herps. Uh, these are probably tree frog tadpoles. Nice to see you. There's a ton of them in this pond. Oh, I got a uh, skink. Huh? Skink. Take off? Uh, maybe. Nope, it's still here. Um, so it went back under. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, oh yeah. Gilbert skink. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Right here. It's right in here. It's in the grass somewhere. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like it's going back and forth. Hell yeah. Nice. Well, Gilbert skink. Oh, that's oh. great. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen one down in Southern California ever. Fence lizard. Little tiny one. Beautiful blue underneath. Yeah. You can see here, honey, look at this. He's so young. Come here, Fox. You can see where he was attached in the egg still on the belly right there the black oh, yeah. that's where uh he was attached to his neotic sac in the egg probably last year's baby little baby boy so that blue uh -huh. all right go back home That's cool. By far the biggest one I've ever seen. Nice. Look at the length of that thing. Oh, that's a long tail. Wow. That goes down to my elbow. Let's see. And this is a southern alligator lizard. Another Gilbert skink? Yeah. Oh yeah, much smaller. But it doesn't have the bright tail of a juvia, so it could just be a dwarf. But... Here's a closer look at the Gilbert skink, and you can see uh, we have you know, a nice picture of it in the app here, and usually the adults don't really have too much striping, but you can see this one has some stripes. Well, if we go to a picture of our juvenile, uh, we do have some stripes. So this one's, you know, doesn't have that that colorful tail like the juveniles do, but he's a bit stripey, uh, which means that he's still pretty young and he'll probably lose those stripes when he gets older. All right, go home. Oh, uh, another skink. Yeah. Brown tail or Uh, Got a pink tail. Oh, another Gilbert. Awesome. Oh, oh. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's in here. It's under this rock now. All right, I'm going to lift this rock. You ready to grab it, right? Come on. I'm going to. Oh. Go there, go there, go there. He's right in here. Okay, okay you have him pinned down. I am going to slowly I... pull this back here with his hand. I'm going to slowly pull these back one more. Oh, oh he's, he's under, under my hand. <laughs> he ran right under. All right, lift, and I got there. You got him? Yeah. You have him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got blue and red on this tail. That's <laughs> common. Look, red tail, blue tail. Yeah, that's cool. Normally one or the other. This is right in the area where blue tails become red tails. 
But as you see from the same specimen, the blue tail becomes a red tail. Nice. One more southern alligator lizard. Again, you can identify these from the distinct uh, dark stripes on the back and the little white flecks on the side. Uh, skink or? Nice. And we found one more Gilbert skink, and you can see this one's a lot older and doesn't have the, the stripes along the side anymore. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Here's that scorpion that we just pulled out. Now, unfortunately, I don't know very much about scorpions, so I don't have much to share with you, but it's very cool to see. It's nice to see that it's too calm. You can see that nice, that big stinger on the end. Yikes. Oh, a bit of a tragedy. Looks like a dead barn owl, a young barn owl, possibly. Oh, well. It's always good to check under poop as well. Uh, it can be for some good habitat, helps keep the soil most. But nothing under these guys, nothing. Maybe this one? Nope. So that last spot was really cool. Um, a lot of alligator lizards, a lot of Gilbert skinks, um, and fence lizards as well. Um, I really thought we were gonna find some snakes, but not today. You know, maybe they would be out tomorrow or the day before, but not today. So before, while we still have energy, we're going to head out to the desert um, down sort of south of where we are now um, and see if we can find anything that's sort of coming out um, at sunset, uh, you know, starting sort of their night hunt. So stay tuned. Check out that sunset. It is looking gorgeous. We are... <sighs> just about at our destination it is 70 degrees and i've got a good feeling about tonight so hopefully we are going to find a snake or two or three let's get to it it's a snake yeah uh it's a rattlesnake yeah. um interesting road. It's not super happy with us. Okay, snakes are out and about. Good for a couple more passes. He's gorgeous. He's probably the best looking sidewinder I've seen. You see any? Yeah. The horns above his head? Yeah. It does two things. One, it keeps the sand out of his eyes. sticking out and helps break up the shape of his head to pray. Well that's gonna be the end of the night. Two snakes tonight, that's pretty good. Remember to uh, subscribe, the button should be right below. Um, I'm Greg Schechter, this is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.